Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. that former Olympic soccer player, Shannon Bach, you know, she's hung up her cleats and she's got a new role, and today she's bringing a friend, Dr. Tanya Gonzalez-Rivera. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for joining us. If I could start with you, Dr. Rivera, I'd like you to set the medical platform about mm-hmm. lupus, and then I'll speak with, uh, excuse me, Sean. Dr. Rivera? Yes, sorry. Yeah, so lupus is an autoimmune disease that can occur um, and affect any organ. It's very complicated disease. Um, It can affect joints, skin, kidney, Um, and and it becomes a challenge to put all that picture together because it can mimic other diseases. So it's very important to to keep those symptoms in mind and for patients and everyone out there to be aware and ask the questions to get to that right diagnosis. Okay. Shannon, would you tell us our story? Because I'm going to go back to Dr. Gonzalez in a minute, yep. Dr. Rivera in a minute, and I'm going to ask her some more questions. But tell me about your diagnosis with lupus. My diagnosis came um, in 2008. Um, I was a professional athlete at that point. Um, the first symptom that I ever felt was back in 2002. And again, I was playing at the elite level, and I just remember feeling this extreme fatigue. Um, I struggled to even walk up a set of stairs and to be at that elite level and to feel that I knew something was really wrong. So I went into the doctors and it took about six years for me to get um, the proper diagnosis of lupus. And within that time period, I still was playing um, at that high level and it became very difficult um, because lupus is about flares and it was so unpredictable. Uh, when those flares would happen and so I had to learn how to kind of cope and manage with those symptoms while I was playing. Dr. Rivera, let me ask you, does Shannon meet the profile first of a lupus patient and then two, does she meet the profile of someone not getting diagnosed early? So Shannon's story is um, unfortunately a very typical one. Patients um, have symptoms for many years before they get to a diagnosis. I think what's important with with lupus to keep in mind is that not two patients are the same. So there's not a prototype picture, right? And and that's why it's so important for for us at GSK um, and partner with with Shannon to raise awareness for this disease, that no two patients are the same and and that it can present in different ways. Um, So, and to try to shorten that window between having symptoms to getting to a diagnosis. Shannon, let me ask you, so this hit you, this diagnosis hit you at a, at a time your career was so uh, public and going so well and people knew your name. Mm-hmm. How did it impact your career? Um, it, I mean, it was something that I kept hidden. Um, I, I barely understood what lupus was, that I felt that um, my job could be in jeopardy. If somebody heard, you know, the symptoms that I had and didn't quite understand what lupus was, they would take it the wrong way and say, well, how can you be an elite athlete? How can I depend on you to be there when the time matters if you can't control or it's unpredictable when these flares would happen? And so I was very quiet about it for a lot of years. Um, and then as the years kind of went by, I realized I was in the public eye. I realized social media was huge at this point. And the strength that I could give to lupus and the awareness of lupus and what it was became more important than my job. And I realized it did take me six years to figure out, um, and the doctors to figure out what I had. And could I give somebody else the chance to maybe feel those symptoms and say, you know what, I'm gonna go get checked out Mm -hmm. a lot sooner than than Shannon did. And so that became a lot more important. And, And my voice was 
able to be heard a lot more than somebody else's because I was in the public eye. Dr. Rivera, we've heard the story, we've heard a diagnosis. What's good on the horizon about lupus? What's going on medically with it? Yeah, so um, I think we're at a great time. We're raising awareness for lupus. We want to get the message out there. Um, and, and, and there are great resources for patients and also physicians, but importantly for patients such as usinlupus.com to be able to sort of take ownership of their disease and get the skills and the confidence to have those conversations with, with physicians and, and, and ultimately lead an active life and, and that Shannon is such a great example for. Ladies, I want to thank you so very much. I'm going to wrap up with you, Shannon. Shannon, what can we look for you to mm -hmm. uh, bring forth uh, after you at, in post-career because you're doing a great job. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I think it's just to continue um, to be an advocate for lupus and to increase awareness. I mean, it's, it's a never-ending battle. There's still no cure, and so we're still pushing um, for more and more people to understand it and to get better um, care. And they get their better care by being very honest with their doctors. Doctors cannot help unless we're very honest with them. Um, so I think that's the big advice that I would give you. And another one is just to have that support around you. Keeping it quiet and keeping it secret for so long was very lonely. Um, and I know when I went public and I started to talk more about it, I felt like I wasn't alone in this fight and that I had really great people, my friends, my family, my doctors surrounding me to help me manage my disease, as well as the resources that are now out there, like usandlupus.com. Dr. Gonzalez Rivera, is there a place online that uh, my audience who wants to know more can find out more information? Yes. Usinlupus.com is a resource that Shannon was referring to, and it's a great resource for patients to have information and, and to keep track of their appointments, keep track of their symptoms, and, and there's an opportunity to have a journal to keep track of their of, of their day-to-day -day, um, symptoms and how they're feeling. All right, Dr. Gonzalez Rivera, she's an immo, immo inflammation medical director, and of course Shannon Box, you know her as an Olympic gold winner. Thank you guys. Thank you for being on the Valder BD show and talking about a really important topic. Thank you. Thank you for having us, Valder. Thank you so much.